What's up, y'all? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a decoy review over the Aggressive Jake by SX. And as you can see in the back, we got the sprayer loaded up. We've got a tree stand that we got to put together tonight. We've got some corn. And then we got some lick branches. I don't know if you can see them. Come on now. They're right here. You can see them. And then make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be making some videos over putting them in and all that junk and we'll be updating you what we catch on the cameras so hope you all enjoy the video here we go all right what's up y'all sorry i got distracted and but it's a little bit later in the day so change and all that here we go this is the aggressive painted jake so as you can tell in the head very good paint and very good sculpting the feathers and the paint job on the feathers are very good I think this thing looks really good and as you can tell right here the back of it's flocked as you can tell I think that is just incredible because some decoys you just don't get that you get a painted version and that's it but their painted version is still flocked so that I think that's a nice touch and as you can see tail feathers did a great job on the paint job and then they give you these detailed feet they're on bungees so they're not gonna break off at all and then I'll give you a view on the other side decoy is a decent size but it's portable and it's very lightweight so I mean it's not a big deal and it's a hard body decoy so I, I like that. I like having that because it's not going to ever deform on you or anything like that. It's going to keep its shape. But you're just going to have to figure out a way to carry it because it's it's one solid piece. So, But overall, I think it's a very great decoy. It's kind of a big price, but I think it's worth it. And I think it's going to help you pull in more birds, especially because of this flocking right here. I think this decoy looks really good and can sell it for you. So, I mean, there's a little Jake beard. Mine's kind of messed up right now. But if we go to the back, the stake goes into the tail. It just comes out like that. It's just the standard stake that you get with all the other decoys. But it is a motion system. And as you can see, it just goes back in there. And if I can get it back in there. I mean, it don't it's pretty well in there so I don't think it's ever gonna come out if you're just carrying the decoy around and then on the bottom you get a nice good porthole for the stake that way you can just set it down you don't gotta sit there and fiddle with it but yep I mean that's that's the decoy as you can see he's kind of really red like he's getting aggressive and like he he's got this territory these are his hands and stuff like that and he's kind of slouched up kind of half maybe half strut maybe just kind of bulking up sizing up whatever kind of bird comes in he's just trying to be aggressive and I think that's just gonna uh, intimidate the toms and I think that's really gonna get him fired up especially with the motion that this thing's gonna give you and it's it's full size like it's not going to deform on you or anything it's gonna stay this shape forever and I think that's really going to um, just fool those toms especially this flocking right here this flocking looks so realistic Especially down here, this brown that they faded in with it. I feel like this is definitely going to intimidate some birds. And I also think um, being a hard shell decoy, when these stubborn birds or these mad, irritated birds come in to fight this guy, I mean, this is what I love about these hard shells. They're not going to lose their form because they get knocked over or they're going to get stepped on and jumped on by aggressive toms. I mean, they're going to sit there and they're going to take the hits. That's why I love this the hard shell decoys and SX did it and they went this route and I love it so again I think this guy is going to be the best option so and also for the hens when them, those toms are climbing up on those hens I, they're not gonna fall over and they're not gonna lose their form alright I'm done chatting I hope you got what you wanted from the video I hope you got to see what you were wanting to see about these decoys I think they're good Good purchase, a little high on the price, but I think they're worth it. So, um, make sure you're subscribed. we got tons of content coming, tons and tons of content. 
coming because in about maybe a month, month and a half, we're headed back up to Kansas. Got tons of videos coming from that. Tomorrow we got to put in food plots and cameras for the Oklahoma deer. Hopefully we catch the Big Ten back on camera. We get back on him. But we'll update you what we catch on camera. We'll make sure we're showing y'all. But make sure you hit that like button for your boy. And until next time, peace.